Hey everybody over at Movies.com, it is the Schmoes No Movie Show. I'm Christian. And I, and I am Mark. Mark. Christian, you know what, we have such good chemistry, and that's what you need when you're going to go on a road trip, such as the case with this weekend's new release, Tammy. Tammy with Melissa McCarthy and Susan Sarandon. They go on a road trip, mom and daughter, and my goodness, is that not going to be something crazy? Well, you know, I was it, on the road. It, it's always craziness ensues when you get these kind of movies, and there's a lot of great road trip films in the history of cinema. We decided, hey, you know what? We do a top five list. We have the outlet. Let's go ahead and talk about the greatest road trip films of all time. Number five is The Guilt Trip with Seth Rogen and Barbra Streisand. That might not even make our honorable mention. Number uh, five is one that is very near and dear to both of our hearts because we were once little children and adults can enjoy The Muppets too. It's The Muppet Movie. The whole thing's a road trip. It sure is. And you have, this is how Fozzie and Kermit meet and they're on the road. Uh, they, all their songs. You remember all the, the music that they sing? It's, it's a, it is really the best Muppet movie that has ever been created. And you see how our cast of characters meet a road trip. And one of my favorite parts of the reboot Muppet movie that came out that Jason Siegel had a hand in is when the first 15 minutes of that movie they go on the road to recruit all the Muppets back yeah. again. It's it's a nice time. Number four we thought was appropriate to put on this list because it's based off one of the stars in Tammy and that is Thelma and Louise. Thelma and Louise is one of those films that you grow up and you're like, oh no, that's like the, the two girls just go on a road trip to discover themselves. No, it's a lot more than that. And by the way, they do discover themselves and Brad Pitt on the way. It's a Ridley Scott movie. We talked about chemistry earlier in the mm -hmm. video. Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon have it. It is a movie, if you've never seen it before, it, it, you're on the run. Two normal, house, two normal people, one of them gets in trouble for a situation, and then whoosh, and it's got one of the best endings of all time. And it's a theme that you're going to see a lot in road trip films, is yeah. that it's people on the run from something. That there's an outlaw element to it. Number three is not an outlaw element to it. It's just one of the funniest films and heartwarming movies ever made. That would be Planes, Trains, and automobiles. John Hughes gives us plane, trains, and automobiles. Oh man. Yeah, and it is a movie, everyone has tried to replicate this movie. It doesn't work because there's only one of them and bringing up the theme again of chemistry, Steve Martin, John Candy. The, Steve Martin wants nothing to do with John Candy. Absolutely nothing. But eventually, he warms up and they have a nice hug in bed. Yeah, and John Candy wants everything to do with anybody he meets. He's just that guy. He's yeah. just the, the guy at the party that lights up a room, and Steve Martin just wants to get home to his family, and they discover so much about each other along the way, and it's just, it, there's a scene in this movie when Steve Martin is yelling at John Candy, and there's a turn in there when you think Steve Martin's being funny, then it gets serious, and you start rooting for John Candy, and you keep going back and forth, yeah. until you finally realize, I just want both these guys in my life as much as possible. Well, someone else I wanted in my life after I saw this movie that I love forever. We got spin-off movies, but the first one was The Road Trip and that was Clark Griswold in Vacation. The be one of the best road trip movies of all time and almost made it to number one, but this movie, you talk about laughs. Clark Griswold just wants to take his family to Wally World. Yeah, this is everything that's great about a movie like Flesh, where it's Chevy Chase with the one-liners and the funny looks and everything that he's great at. And then you also combine this family dynamic. Beverly D'Angelo plays his wife. She's yeah. great. Uh, cousin Eddie, Randy Quaid, one of my favorite sidekick characters of all time. And they're just, it, it's this mission that every kid had when they were a kid, is you get, in the, you get in the family car, you go on a road trip, and you hope to end up at a great amusement park like a Wally World. Mm -hmm. it, it, you just know that this is going bad from the second it starts, because Clark Griswold is there to get the good car, and Eugene Levy just sells him a lemon <laughs> right off the bat. And Anthony Michael Hall just stealing scenes yeah. out of this movie. It is a movie that if you have not seen, once again, it is one of the funnier road trip movies of all time. One of my favorite comedies of all time, Vacation. Christy Brinkley steals some scenes. Oof, that. Sure does. Yeah. Steals some hearts. But at number one, there's no way you can't go with this. It's one of, not only one of the best road trip films, it's one of the most iconic motion pictures ever made. That would be Easy Rider. You got your Dennis Hopper, you got your Peter Fonda. Jack Nicholson. They go across the country. They pick up Jack Nicholson in New Orleans. And not only is this a great road trip film, it was actually filmed as everybody was going across the country together. So it was like one of the great first independent films. It came out in the late 60s when there was such a culture clash. And that plays into the film as well. So so, and my God, the soundtrack. And it's always mentioned as one of the greatest films of all time, and, it, and that's why it's number one on this list, because when you think road trip, you think Easy Rider. All right, what say you? Did we miss them? Did we get them all? Mark, I know there's a few honorable mentions. Throw some our way. That's right. I'd like you guys to comment on this video and tell us what you think should have been on our list or if you disagree with us top to bottom. Uh, Dumb and Dumber is a road yeah, trip doing. movie. That's yeah. You talk about one of the funniest films ever made. That also should be mentioned. And then there's a movie called Road Trip. 
that's oh, yeah. really funny as well. It's a good, solid film. Let's go dark. Let's put on Natural Born Killers in there. That's a, that's a road trip movie, and one that probably you wouldn't ever want to be on if, unless you're a rattlesnake. But other than uh, that... Bonnie and Clyde, also, they, they right. go on the land from time to time. There's a little Same known venue. Kevin Costner movie called Fandango, where I believe they also go on the road. So how about that? It's fitting. Okay, that's it. A lot of movies out this week. You have Earth to Echo is mm -hmm. coming out. We just mentioned Tammy. And then... Deliver it, Us from oh, Evil, right. the right. horror movie. It's very, very cool. For the Movies.com Schmoes No Movie Show, I'm Christian. And I am Mark, and we'll see you out there on the highway. No, you can't drive. <laughs> Not until the government lets me do it again.